So last two questions. What, what makes the ABA unique to you? There's a lot of leagues out here. Um, but what makes it unique? What makes it special? You know, I, I've asked myself that question a few times. And besides the game itself, it's the players. And I'll tell you why. Because my, one of my goals is to build 150 stadiums, uh, um, arenas around the United States that the ABA is going to play in. But if we only play 20 games in the arena every year, there's still 330 days left, right? So what I would like to do is when the player's done playing, have them start coaching the kids so they can mentor the kids and, and, and bring them up where one day they can be a coach and then one day they can be an owner or one day they can be in staff. You know what I mean? So I would like to keep all the players all the coaches and all the owners in the league to move up, you know, like I did, right? I moved up and, and, and I would like to see that and that growth, it will be all within. That's one of my, my, uh, and I think with the ABA that can be done. The NBA, we couldn't do it because everybody's getting paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. So it, it, you know, they're going to, they're going to keep putting their shoes on until they break leg or something they can't repair. Right. Because of the money. But I think, I think the growth in the ABA is so unique because we can literally bring that player to be a coach, to be an owner, to be whatever they want to be and have a great experience with the ABA. But the one thing that everyone's going to do is in, that, in that progression is they're going, to mon they're, going to, you know, they're going to mentor the kids. And that's what's important to me because the kids are the important thing. Um, in this whole process. Okay. You know? Got it. Um, I've no speaking about the players, like I've noticed that you, um, you know, recently you came out with the player profiles, right? So tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, that service that you made available. I don't, I don't have that because that's one of the things that Joe Newman put in place. Mm -hmm. But, uh, from what I understand it is being launched in the last, you know, in the next, uh, couple of days here, which, mm -hmm. you know, it'll be a great thing for the players. Again, to get to the point where they can, uh, they can um, uh, be known mm -hmm. because it's all about getting to that silver ring and getting to that gold ring. Right. Yeah. So because we're the bronze, we're still a big important factor. Think about this. And this is what I ponder all the time. In the United States, there's 3,111 colleges, right? So if five players graduate every year from there, that's 15,000 15, players plus, right? 15,000 plus players that keep in mind that kid, when he started in AAU and then went all the way through to high school and then got into college, one day his old dream of doing all that was to be able to play professional basketball when he got out of college, right? Have a degree and have and be able to play professional basketball. But if the ABA wasn't around, how many of the, we employ about 3,000 kids a year, right? To play the game they love. If the ABA wasn't around, there's only two jobs every year in, in the NBA. Where do those other 15,000 kids go every year? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah. But then you think about, yeah, we have 200 teams this year, which is what our goal is, right? We have 200 teams this year, but at the end of the day, how many of those players are not being able to play? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there's so much more growth we can do with the ABA as far as owning teams because we got 15,000 kids coming out next year and then the year after that and then the year after that. It never stops. Right? Yeah. yeah. So gotcha. if, you were, if you had a kid that you put in AAU or you put into preschool and then AAU and then – uh, middle school and then high school and then college don't you pro have a chance right but you're not going to have that chance if the aba wasn't around that's yeah. why the aba is so important got it got it you know and that's why the aba is so important 
that makes sense. And then keeping the, the teams solvent, keeping them active where they're not um, insolvent and, and falling out of the league, right? Like keeping them right. financially healthy so that they can, yeah. And I believe that's, you know, that's, that's the help of the league that's going to do that, right? So we need a staff in order to make that happen. And that's one of the things that we're going to transition okay. into. Got but, think of, but think about this. Once we do that and we have a staff, right, of maybe let's say 30 people, right? Now we got a marketing team. Now we got a sponsorship. We got, a, 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 we, got, we got social media going. Now we have one office filled with all those people that are literally going to be able to explode the industry of the ABA, right? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, what's the number one question that everyone gets when they tell you about the team in their ear? You know what it is? What's that? I didn't even know the ABA was even around. Oh, right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> it's true. I, it's true. I didn't even know the ABA was around. Well, it's our job to make sure that everybody knows the red, white, and blue is here to stay. Uh, right? Yeah. And we are the American Basketball Association. We're not the National Basketball Association. We're American. We're the American Basketball Association. So What's why the... wouldn't everybody know? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I see the, I see the distinction there.